ever got out of a Volkswagen Golf feeling that you could do with a bit more space? The answer is right here in the chiselled form of the Golf SV. Here the Wolfsburg brand has brought us a proper purpose-built family-sized five-seat MPV that offers key advantages to justify its premium over the standard hatchback model. It's Volkswagen's idea of what a Scenic or a C-Max should really be. And if you're buying in this segment and want something a little nicer, you could find it hard to resist, particularly in this smarter, more sophisticated revised form. This Golf SV gets impressively close to the driving dynamics of the standard Golf hatch model it's based on. And that's despite the fact that it's 80 millimeters longer and wider, 120 millimeters higher, and about 120 kilos heavier. A standard XDS electronic differential lock torque vectoring system helps you to get power down through the bends, uh, and you'll be able to tackle those even more confidently if the electric steering setup offered a bit more feedback. Now you can improve that by changing the the settings on the driving mode selection system that most variants have. Uh, now that setup tweaks the steering, the throttle response and on the auto models the gear change timings to suit your preference. It will alter suspension feel too if you take up the option Volkswagen offers of DCC, dynamic chassis control, although to have that you'll have to have picked one of the more powerful engines. There are two of these, the 1.5 litre TSI Evo petrol unit that we're trying here, offered with either 130 or 150 PS, and the 2 litre TDI 150 PS diesel. All these power plants come with the brand's more sophisticated multi-link rear suspension package. Further down the range uh, you'll be stuck with the cruder torsion beam setup that gives a slightly more unsettled low speed ride over bumpier surfaces. This lower grade suspension package is paired with the other two engines on offer, uh, that's the 115 PS 1.6 litre TDI diesel and a three cylinder 1 litre TSI petrol unit and that's offered with either 85 or 110 PS. The 1 litre TSI 110 PS variant will be a popular one. Uh, it offers a decent blend of performance and efficiency with 56.5 mpg possible on the combined cycle along with 113 grams per kilometre of CO2. As with the 1.5 litre TSI Evo 130 PS derivative that we're trying here, there is a choice of 6 speed manual or 7 speed DSG automatic transmission. If you want to please your Volkswagen salesperson, then tell them this car looks like a Golf. That is, after all, just the point, given that the last thing the stylist wanted was the high-roofed toy town awkwardness of the old Golf Plus. Now, though this car is just as tall, its proportions are far more carefully considered with aesthetic tricks like a uh, glass house extending fifth side window and bonnet lengthening creases, preserving the smartly conservative look of Volkswagen's best-selling family hatch. As for the changes made to this revised model, well, the alterations can mostly be found here at the front, where this central lower grille has been redesigned. The forward-facing camera that previously sat in the middle of that is now more neatly located behind the Volkswagen badge in the centre of the upper grille. Uh, for this brand logo, um, chrome strips flow out into revised headlamps that feature restyled LED uh, daytime lighting graphics. Now, in analysing the interior, let's start with issues of luggage versatility, since that's probably one of the key things that a prospective MPV buyer is going to want to know about. Now, some of the motor magazines have moaned that this SV doesn't have quite as much luggage space as some of its direct rivals, but that is a bit misleading because it's a comment that applies to a seats-folded total cargo configuration that you'll hardly ever use. So in terms of the standard boot, the thing you'll access every day, the capacity that this Volkswagen can offer is actually class leading, 590 litres with this neat sliding rear bench pushed right forward. That's 30% more than a Golf hatch can offer and only a fraction less than you'll get in the Golf Estate. The flexibility continues once you've pushed the rear backrest forward. That's something that's possible to do in a 40-20-40 configuration. And that's very useful if all you want to do is poke long items like skis through from the boot. 
Take a seat up front and you'll find yourself sat 59 millimetres higher than you would be in a golf hatch. And this obviously provides a slightly more commanding view out. Around you lies the usual classy Volkswagen interior. It's embellished by higher quality materials on this revised model. And now it's even more difficult to fault. Now the big change is this more sophisticated 8-inch composition media centre dash infotainment screen, which above entry level trim is enhanced with Volkswagen's clever app connect setup. Now this is a starting point for the brand's Carnet connectivity system and it's the key tool for bringing the best functions of your smartphone into your Golf SV via the Apple CarPlay and Android Auto smartphone mirroring systems. Uh, now an even higher tech Discover Navigation Pro setup with an even larger 9.2 inch monitor and clever gesture control is optional. And in the rear, well, it is true that in a rival Scenic, C-Max or C4 Picasso, he had the option of taking out the middle seat to free up more space for the two outer passengers. That's not an option with this Volkswagen, but then how often would you really want it to be? On the positive side though, most models get these useful fold-out seatback tables, plus there are door bins capable of taking one litre bottles and you get these little storage areas on each side between the seat base side and the door. Uh, there's a fold-down armrest here with twin cup holders, plus a central 12 volt socket so the kids can power up their games and a storage area around it for small items along with rear passenger vents. More importantly, Headroom is good and it can be improved with the included seat reclining function. Likewise, your legroom can be similarly enhanced to almost limousine levels by the fact that this rear bench can slide backwards and forwards uh, through a travel of 180 millimetres. It's lovely. Overall, this is a car that adds a dash of desirability to the business of owning what is, at the end of the day, nothing more than a practical family tool. I mean, in a sensible world, this is the kind of car that typical families would prefer over the fashionable frippery of an SUV. That won't happen, of course, but if a sensible world is the one you prefer to live in, then we can see how the prospect of Golf SV ownership might appeal. It makes sense, and it's a Golf. For quite a number of prospective buyers, That'll be all they need to know.